This is the Eternity Forge game vlog number eight. Programming a level editor with C++ using FLTK. So over the past week or so, I've been able to program the scaffolding of a level editor for my game using C++ and FLTK. Now, if you didn't know, FLTK or Fast Light Toolkit is a cross-platform GUI library, much the same as Qt, WX widgets, and so on, that abstracts away some of the hassle of using the Windows API directly. The reason I used FLTK is that it was the GUI used in the book I learned how to program from, which was Programming Principles and Practice Using C++ by Bjorn Strustrup. If you don't know who Bjorn Strustrup is, you should Google Bjorn Strustrup. Anyway, I was already familiar with it. Um, all the different GUI window uh, libraries I've used have all been pretty similar, though. So my editor has three basic types of objects, textures, entities, and geometry. It consists of a main window with a few subviews or groups, as FLT likes to call them, some check boxes, buttons, uh, menu, and menu bar. The different object types are new classes inherited from the FL box base class and the subviews are inherited from the FL scroll class. Probably the biggest thing that really needed to be changed in terms of the default behavior of FLTK was window resizing. Whenever you resize a window or subview in FLTK, the default behavior is to automatically resize all the children of the view proportionally. Well, that really sucks when you're designing a level editor because you don't want any of the entities to move inside your level just because you resized a window, and you probably don't want your custom menus resizing stupidly either. You can see this happen here when I resize the editor scroll view because I haven't changed the behavior for my geometry tree tag boxes yet. Luckily, most of the functions in FLTK are virtual, so you can easily replace them and do things the way you want. If you've ever futzed around with scroll bars, you know that basically what happens is the X and Y positions of everything in your view get offset in proportion to the scroll bar. This is a minor problem if you want entities in your level to retain the same absolute values. Luckily, there's a function in FLTK that will give you the offset of the scroll bars, and that function and that function is X position and Y position. I knew pretty much all the features I wanted to program in advance. Most importantly, I wanted to be able to drag and drop entities into the editor from the submenu. First, I load the images into a custom image pool, in this case, FLPNG image class. From there, I can use FL copy, which allows you to resize the image for the menu bar item. In my custom menu bar class, I override the handle function and look for an event equal to FL push, wherein I set a drag drop bool to true so the editor knows to draw the image, and I also set the global drag image pointer to be the same as the menu image. FL drag simply redraws the window. On FL release, I create a new editor box of the entity type, take the X and Y positions of the mouse, using FL event X and FL event Y and add the object to one of three STD lists <laughs> STD lists that keep track of each entity in my editor. Now I'm creating pointers and allocating with new so technically there are some memory leaks going on here but the size of each of these classes is pretty small so we are talking about kilobytes of leaks. Since I'm storing everything in lists eventually I'll go back and iterate over the lists and delete things. But given the size of the leaks, I'm choosing to live dangerously at the moment. So once the entity is in the editor, you of course need to be able to select and drag it and move it around. Again, this is all done by overriding the handle class. Other useful classes to override in FLTK are the draw and resize classes. Draw resize handle, that's probably about 90% of this level editor right there. I've also implemented multi-selection by holding down control and copying by holding down shift. So far, I've only been able to implement copying one object at a time, but I plan on doing multiple object copying. You can delete objects with the delete key and deselect with the escape key. All this is done by capturing objects in the main window and passing them to the children. At this point, I want to talk about the main window. Now, I thought this was maybe a bug with FLTK, but it really just appears to be a consequence of building and running a project from inside of Visual Studio and debugging it. With some widgets, it's easier to just set a callback function than it is to override the handle function and all that shiz. 
In the callback method for FL input, I was trying to set the main window to gain focus and it just wasn't happening. I ended up having to put focus on one of the menu buttons and that seemed to do the trick. Otherwise, the editor window became locked up and useless. Again, this appears to just be a problem with running from inside Visual Studio, so I guess don't hit F5 to start debugging. If you do, be aware that some screwy things might happen to your window. As far as the actual level format for my game, it's dead simple right now. I just save the information for each fundamental type in my level editor and parse it back when I ruin my game. I'm not even using binary mode. I'm just doing simple C in and C out functions and it seems to be working pretty well. The format looks something like this and the size of the level files are pretty small. Tens of kilobytes at the moment. So I guess that's about it. One major thing I'd like to add is being able to click and drag a selection box so you can select multiple objects. I think this will come in handy when I actually start building uh, the levels. But I want to get at least the base level editor going so that as I create the resources for my game I can add them to the level editor as opposed to having to do a shit ton of work uh, at some point in the future. Not sure what I'll work on next week. So much to do. Making a game, the sound engine issues still have to be sorted out. Hopefully that won't be as much work as making a level editor.